Welcome back to another Shadow of the Herb Tree video. Yesterday we showcased all the blades, that spears and oh and hammer, so blunt weapons as well. We showcased all of the we want to call them like handled weapons, in a way, as as we can call it that. Today we're gonna rock with the perfumes. So the perfumes is what we what we hitting with now. So making everybody smell good in the lands. Uh, first, we'll start off with our Fire Spark Perfume Bottle. Now, perfumes are not new to the game. You've always had perfumes. You can create them. Let me see if I have any created to attach. Let me see. I probably didn't because I felt like the eye felt like in the first game the perfumes was useless. But then I seen people make videos of the perfumes and they was making like OP stuff. All right, let's go to item crafting. So perfumes were bending, but it was just aromatics. That's all they was. You can create aromatics to do certain things. Like you got the spark aromatic and use this, it uses FP to scatter sparks in a wide area. So this is the first like perfume attack one. Then you have the uplifting aromatic. This is actually, uh, I think this is a new one. Maybe. Yeah, because it's because the Altus Bloom is, an, is new to the freaking, this, oh, no, it's not. It's not new to this land. But anyways, the uplifting aromatic, it boosts uh Ally attack power and reduces incoming damage once. Now this one was created before, I think. Uh, the the poison uh, spray mist it uses FP to release poison from the mouth. Yeah, the acid spray mist it uses FP to uh, release acid from the mouth. The the blood boil aromatic uses FP to enter a temporary state of fever. And then you have the iron jar aromatic it uses FP to temporarily turn the wielder body to steel. I'm, I'm pretty sure this one is new. But those are the perfumes from the first game. They're just aromatics and they're just consumables and they can be replenished, whatever. Now you have actual equipment perfumes in this game. And the first one is the Fire Spark perfume bottle. The definition, the uh, perfume bottle remade into a weapon by perfumers of the realm of shadow. Attack release perfume powder producing sparks of fire. The crusade was a violent purge and the perfumes were not called there to heal and kick kick for most of these is the uh, special ability except for like one of them I think and you can obviously you can put there was two ashes of war that came uh, that were specific for perfumes let me go to the ashes of war two perfume two perfumer ashes of war that came out of this you have this one which is called the uh, Wall of Sparks. And the Wall of Sparks scatters perfume powder in the vicinity, producing the intense spark after a brief delay. It can be charged to increase the powder, the power and range. The properties of the sparks are determined by the perfume bottles used. And then you have this one, the, the Rolling Sparks. Rolling Sparks scatters perfume powder before you, triggering rolling explosions of deadly sparks the properties of the sparks are determined by the perfume bottle so these two was added with the uh perfume bottles so the perfume bottles is uh the r1s are pretty much all the same you will do one hand first so one hand one two three four so it's so, a so four hitter and you see in all of these have a chance of hitting it's one two one two three four is that five or four I think that's five. Yeah, that's five. So those five little sparks that come out, all of those have a chance of hitting the enemy. So now it does good stagger damage because of that. And then the R2 is once around and once back. That's it, once, a, once to the right, once to the left. The L2, which is just a kick, and now if we do hand it, now you have even more of those coming out. Boom, boom, boom. And then same thing with the R2. Almost, it, it almost is like that that skill of spark wall. So it, it automatically it almost automatically does the little spark wall, and we'll show you it on the enemy. I actually, like using this. If it wasn't so slow, it'd be great because this 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 R two hits all around me. So for like these dogs trying to get behind me, where you going, dog? Staggered. But it's great though. All right, now we'll go to. The next one, the next one, we have the lightning perfume bottle. Obviously, this first one had fire damage. So fire 110, fire 80. This next one is lightning, so it has lightning damage. And the same thing, the tax release powder producing lightning. Uh, from time to time, perfume was set out on a journey to pursue new, new aromatics and flower gardens. So the, the attack pattern is, is the same. So it's 
it does all the same attacks. It's just lightning now. Instead, and the kick is still the same. So, still the same. This video is going to be pretty short because these there's only five of these. And they pretty much do all the same thing. Now, now from time to time, Perfume is set on a journey to pursue new aromatics and, flowers, and, and flower gardens. See, the descriptions are, are pretty much all the same. There's, there's, there's not a big difference between them. And obviously, this one just does ice. Let's go, let's go put some ice on somebody. Put somebody on ice. See, it, it stops me, though. The, the, the dogs are always annoying because they, they swing so fast. So R1s is the best way to take care of the dogs. But if you can get an L2 off, I mean R2 off, it hits all around you, obviously, and those dogs stop in a track from that. All right, next, we have the Frenzy Flame Perfume Bottle. Now, you would think this one have, will have more definition because you got frenzy, you got madness in this one. This, this one still builds up madness. Like, this one builds up frost, this one builds up madness. And again, it's, it's fire damage, but it's madness. And madness, I was actually going to do a new playthrough and do a madness build. But then I uh, basically like Googled it there if, to see like if madness builds up on, on bosses. And it only, it only builds up on humanoid people. So it makes the amount of bosses and the amount of people I can actually affect with madness kind of small. And I was like, ah, it's not worth it at that point. It's not worth it. Seems like fire really affects them. And I was one handing it. No wonder I wasn't doing what I needed to do. I was one handing this thing. I was wondering why this thing didn't go all the way around like it needed to. Madness. It even looks like madness down there. The last one is the poison one. This one does pour the deadly poison perfume bottle. Now, this one is different because this perfume, they see the rest of them, perfumes, uh, bottles remade into weapons by perfumers in the Shadow Realm. This one, though, was perfume customized by Toilier. By Toilier, Toilier I think is, that's how you pronounce it. Atta and then it says, same thing, attacks release produce a, a deadly poison. But there are some techniques of the perfuming arts that employ poison. Upon learning of this, Toilier threw himself into mastering those techniques and he made them his own. And the unique skill, Deadly Poison Spray, swings the perfume bottle overhead, wafting perfume powder of deadly poison over a wide area. Poison shells, the poison shell dance upon the air and pour into the quiet realm. So his, you see how his is completely different than the rest of them. Let's go ahead and drink something right quick for this dog kill me. Let's dual hand it. And let's go over here and hit these enemies with this. See, the R1s are still the same. Even the R2 is still the same. See, staggered. The L2 is what's going to be different. So the L2, he, he just put a big waff in there. See, I even poison, if you don't get out of the way, you, po you poison yourself. That's how deadly this one is. So. I, I poisoned myself with this when I freaking threw it up in the air. Just toss it up, blah, 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 blah. Oh, you ain't got a choice. You're going to poison yourself. So I think this, you, if you use that skill ever, it's probably best to have, it'll probably be best to have this talisman on. This kindred of rot, assertion talisman, because poison or rotten of ascending increase your attack power. You're going to 100% poison yourself. You might as well get a boost of damage from poisoning yourself. And I think that'll probably be the best to do there. And that's it for the perfumes. Somebody can let me know if I missed a perfume. I will definitely go and look and uh, see if I missed a perfume. But I'm pretty sure that was all the perfumes. I mean, that's all the stats in the game. Fire, ice, lightning, uh, poison. There was no sleep one. If I remember correctly, there, 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 was, there, was no, there was no one that did sleep. There was not one that did anything else, that, 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 that did uh, rot or anything like that. They, they, they barely put rot stuff in the game. And that, that kind of annoys me because I really like the rot. And I feel like running a rot poison bill would be super OP. Like, I, I was about to start using this spear because this spear does, this is the only spear in the game that does rot damage. I was going to use this spear and a bleed, basically. Or like the spear and then like a poison or something like that and do a poison rot build. So I can really use that freaking uh, Kendra of the uh, Escortation uh, Talisman. But the damage on the weapons that do rot are usually pretty petty. And then the rot doesn't proc that much. So it's like, eh, it's, it's, a, it's a give and take with it. But 
we'll see how it goes. I am going to do a new game plus here uh, pretty soon after I finish doing this weapon uh, showcase, which tomorrow we'll have the showcase for all the range weapons. So all of these weapons are new to the DLC, except for this one. All these weapons are new to the DLC, and we'll 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 do some stuff with that. What can it be? Shields, I'm not too worried about. I guess I could because this is a new weapon, the thrusting shield. But uh, next, the next video will be the range weapons. So we'll go through that. I appreciate y'all popping in here with me, smelling good with your homie. Make sure y'all putting some cologne on. You know what I mean? People like that cologne. People remember your scent. It reminds them of you, and it makes them more gravitated towards you. So make sure y'all putting that cologne on. But uh, I'll catch y'all in the next one.